Hi guys, Wadok Studios here, and today we're going to go over the 2D Skeletal System Character Tools section. Um, in previous videos, I've went over how to build your own character, how to assign the skeleton. Um, what you can also do is this guy here on the left that's used for these sequences. Um, you can get a reference to him in the world outliner here browse to him and you can see this control rig on your own skeletons you can just open this control rig up and copy these controls into your own control rig after you've created your skeleton you right click and you can um assign i want to say you can create an actual control rig here off of him yeah right here once you create that control rig you can just copy this out of here um, then you would come to your character tools. You can either duplicate one of these. I wouldn't because Sequencer has these things called linked animations and I find that Unreal Engine 5.4 at least is a little buggy on how it links the animation sequence to um, the Sequencer editor. So I would just start from scratch underneath the cinematic section. Um, you'll see this level sequence. So just make one like idle sequence um double click it it's gonna be blank in the outliner you're gonna drag this guy over or you can hit add an actor and then you just select him now he's gonna show up but you're like oh well where's my controls first thing everybody thinks this isn't working how i thought it would um what you can do is right click on this um it's not bait to control rig or nothing like that there's a there's a plus and there's a control rig and then there's classes and then you select it so that'll add the control rig here you'll see all of your controls pop up now and then you'll just start um defining how you want the animation to be for me the first thing i do is give gives my like i give myself room to work with about um 30 frames and I set 15 as the midpoint and then I can like scale the animation value to give me like a quicker or slower animation. It's up to you really, but that's just kind of the way I do it. And then um, I toggle on this auto key and then I just create a key. And then um, because I want the first and last frame to be the same thing, because I want this to loop nicely, I usually create the first and last and then I come to the midpoint and I'm like, okay, I want to adjust this up. And then you can go back really quickly, hit play, and you can see what it does. So it, it just kind of goes up a little bit and goes right back home, right? And then same thing on the arm. We'll create a key here. We'll go to the beginning. We'll create a key here. And then um, we'll kind of like at frame 15, we'll kind of like drag this out a little bit. Um, and as you can see, there's a little bit of like fighting over the Y axis value. So you can always break these out and you can say, I want to start at negative one. And then on the very, very last frame, you want to end at negative one. And that'll keep this guy from like fighting with the body, right? So that looks good to me. We'll close this back up come over here we'll do the same thing we'll create a new keyframe create one here and this doesn't really have to be perfect the more imperfections you have like kind of the the better it's gonna end up whenever it comes all out so um, we'll go to the head or the, yeah the head control and then um, same thing we'll create a new frame Another new frame and then the loop section we'll just have like a slight little dip and then we'll see what that looks like cool all right so once you're done you can right click here and you can create a linked animation sequence we've been sticking animations in the golem folder i'm just going to name this like idle or yeah idle underscore anim2 and um, you export it 
And then right here, you can open the linked animation sequence. And you'll see, like we have a nice little overly aggressive idol compared to like the one that came with it, where it's kind of like this calmer breathing type of thing. This is almost like I'm a ready for battle type of animation. But this is where like stylistic preference is. It's, it's really up to you. Um, yeah, so because it's linked to this, you can always come back and um, edit it in sequencer and then update the linked animation. So that's what's really cool about using this system. Um, yeah, anyway, I uh, hope that helps. Um, as always, like and subscribe. And um, thanks to everybody who's joined the Wild Ox Studios Discord. And thanks for all of the Patreon members. And until next time, until next time, happy developing and toodles.